Most people actually called her by her middle name, Louise. It wasn't until all these urban legends started that she became known as Florence, or the ghost of Flo. Didn't she get hit by a car waiting on the curb for her boyfriend? No. See, people just know fragments of the truth, and then all these lies are accepted as legend. Florence Louise Grange did have a boyfriend, but she didn't wait for him by the curb. He was an older guy, and was one of the only ones to have a car. Well, what year was this? It was 1918. See, her parents didn't approve of this boyfriend, but her dad was one of the first auto mechanics in Utah, so he was probably over there all the time, and that's how they met. He would drive up to the house, flash his headlights three times to let her know he was there, and they'd sneak out together every night. So did Flo's boyfriend kill her? What? Well, you said that Flo and her boyfriend went out every night. I mean, is that what happened? Is that why she gets pissed every time people flash their brights? No, she died of influenza. What? Yeah, in 1918, influenza killed like 50 million people. They had to turn church buildings into hospitals. Louise's whole family got it, but she was the only one who died. So why does she attack cars who visit her then? Well, it's like I said, her boyfriend would come to pick her up every night, except the night she died. See, there were very strict rules about quarantine back then. If someone in your house got the, got the flu, they had to put a quarantine sign out in front of your house. Well, Louise contracted the flu early that morning. It progressed really fast. And she had to spend the whole day in bed, didn't know about the quarantine sign. She waited for her boyfriend, but he never came. She died early the next morning, still waiting by the window. That's why she responds to people flashing their headlights three times. She just wants the last ride with her boyfriend. Okay, so why are we going? And more importantly, why are the back seats filled with suitcases? You can't have any empty seats in the car. It's romantic, right? An adventure? Better than going to the movies or something. Her grave should be right beside the road. Watch for any security, will you? How old was she when she died? Fifteen. Ooh, there it is. Okay. All we have to do is flash our brights three times. A small green light will appear that will slowly materialize into a girl. And whatever you do, don't yeah, let her into- who answer said Flo choked to death on a piece of candy. That's nice. Will you pay attention, please? Whatever you do, don't let her into the car. Who? Louise. Flo is going to try to get in? Of course. That's why I flew up to the empty seats. So she doesn't have room. She's been waiting for a ride for 95 years. If she gets in, she will not get out. How do you know? Yahoo answers. <laughs> it's just a legend, but nobody's stuck around long enough to find out what really happens. You ready? I guess. Maybe somebody already picked her up. First of all, she likes to be called Louise. Second, you're gonna get us kicked out before we see anything. Nothing is happening. Let's try one more time. Just have to be patient. Is that her? I told you you were gonna get us kicked out. Probably heard you from all the way across the graveyard. It doesn't look like a cop car. Probably have their own private security. But it, it looks like an old car. Will you watch where you're going? Tyler, slow down. You're going too fast. doing? It's going to see. 
see us. He's gone. You're right. It was an old car. Why didn't we just drive out of the graveyard? I want to go back and try again. To see Flo? Louise! Tyler! She's not there! Let's just go! <sighs> Come on. Did you <sighs> break the car? I don't know. Get on my phone. Now what? Hold this. Come on, I need you to hold the phones for light. Why don't we use the phones for calling someone? It's probably just a fuse. I'll get it started. Wait, what, what do you know about cars? Come on, we'll use Yahoo Answers. 